Virgin Media Shorts, championing undiscovered talent. We're here on the red carpet at the Virgin Media Shorts Awards with Anthony Farquhar Smith. Now, your film was the only animated finalist. That's true. Was that a brave or inspired decision? Well, I work in animation, so for me, it was neither brave nor inspired. It's just what I do. Uh, I mean, when I was looking at the, some of the other uh, competitors, you know, uh, in the run up to the, the finalists being announced, there were quite a lot of animated films, but I didn't think that you know, I would, if I ended up being in the finalists, I didn't think I'd end up being the only one. So it is quite a, I don't know if it's a blessing or a curse though. I mean, it, it makes me stand out, but maybe, you know, maybe it's not going to be such a good thing. We'll see. Is it true you developed a new animation technique for the film? Well, I kind of use something that I haven't seen before. I mean, in animation, there are, you know, you can, you can pretty much call any new animation, well, any new way of doing something a new technique. Um, I hadn't really seen it before, so even though it's not like I reinvented the wheel, I think it is something fresh and original. So I definitely did that. And I don't think I've ever seen lollipop sticks used in animation. I actually even used in any filmmaking, so, so maybe I broke a barrier there. Did the fantastic music come first, or was it, was it built around the film? No, the music comes from my very good friend Ollie, Oliver Davis. Uh, he's a professional composer, and I was lucky enough to convince him to do this for a fraction of what he normally costs because he's <laughs> quite expensive and very, very good. But no, I mean he brings he brings half of the film to it. I mean, I, you know, uh, uh, any movie is picture and sound, and he he donates I think more than half of what's going on there. You've got a great deal of experience in features, but it seems as though you keep to a very simple and effective plan. Now, was that deliberate, and is that a good idea for animators? I think it's a good idea for any filmmaker. Keep things as simple as you possibly can, because it's very easy for things to get complicated very quickly. And then when they get complicated, then they can start going wrong. So, yeah, I mean, um, you know, filmmaking is kind of just anticipating everything, troubleshooting everything that's going to screw up when you're trying to do something. So if you keep it simple, less things to go wrong. And also, if you keep it simple, it's less things for people to get bored with, you know. If you can be direct and abrupt and upfront, I think that's the best way to make a film. Okay, I think everybody wants to know this. How did you stop the ice lollies from melting? I didn't. <laughs> they, I just I shot very, very quickly. I mean, if you look carefully, you can kind of see them changing on the way from one side of the screen to the other. Uh, but no, I, I learned a very big lesson, which is make fake ice creams next time. <laughs> okay, now what will you do with the prize money if you win? Uh, well, I think probably every filmmaker that you've been interviewing tonight has said this, but I've got another script up my sleeve. Yeah, uh, no, I have a, another, it'll be another stop frame film, because that's what I do, stop frame animation. And it's a film this time about dustbins. Can you tell us any more? Uh, a love affair between two dustbins. Uh, and it'll be shot with real dustbins and in real locations. So that's the plan. A classic romance film, if ever I've heard of one. Uh, Anthony, thank you very much and good luck tonight. Thank you very much. Virgin Media Shorts, championing undiscovered talent.